Hello everyone, my name is Nathan Lauer and I'm here to talk with you all today about genome editing and several techniques used. So what is genome editing? Genome editing is a form of genetic engineering in which the genome is modified by inserting or removing DNA from the genome. This is done by causing a DNA double-stranded break at a specific location in the genome by using artificially made nucleases and then using the cell's endogenous mechanisms to repair the induced break by natural processes. The most common nucleases of which are used are the zinc finger nucleases, transcription activator-like effector nucleases, and the CRISPR-Cas system. You're probably wondering, how is genome editing useful to us? In recent years, genetic engineering consisted of homologous recombination and mouse embryonic stem cells. There, they're able to knock out certain genes to see how that specific gene played a role in mice development. This process was slow and very expensive. And genome editing therefore provides a faster, cheaper, and more efficient way of setting the genes of interest. The first technique is zinc finger nucleases, also known as ZFN. It was one of the first nucleases used for editing. These nucleases are nonspecific DNA cutting enzymes with a specific DNA sequence recognizing peptide. There are three zinc fingers in a nucleus that act as transcription factors. Each finger can identify three base pairs of a sequence, thus totaling nine base pairs. Each finger module can be mixed into different combinations to target any sequence you wish. ZFN has a cleavage domain with the endonuclease FOLK1. ZFN is a heterodimer that requires dimerization for FOLK to work. ZFN then makes a double strand break at any desired location. However, ZFN can be quite costly and sometimes hard to make. To overcome this problem, another technique was discovered. Transcription activator-like effector nucleases, or also known as talons, are very similar to the zinc finger nucleases, except in regards that each amino acid of the talon can identify only a single nucleotide in the DNA sequence. Talons are typically composed of 33 to 35 amino acids. Talons are capable of doing what zinc finger nuclease can do, but at a faster and cheaper rate. The most recent genome editing technique is the CRISPR-Cas system. CRISPR is an acronym for Clustered Regularly Spaced Short Palindromic Repeats, and Cas is the name of the protein enzyme used to cut the DNA. Unlike ZNFs and talons, CRISPR is not human-made. It is based off the prokaryotic immune system that provides a resistance to foreign genetic elements such as plasmids and viruses. The Cas9 protein, along with an appropriate guide RNA, is delivered into the cells to cut at any desired location. The Cas9 protein will then unwind the DNA duplex and leave both strands at the recognition of the target sequence by the guide RNA. CRISPR is able to add and delete base pairs at any specifically targeted DNA loci. This method is the most simple, efficient, and cheapest technique of all three. With any new technology, there are some drawbacks dealing with genome editing. One common drawback is off-site mutations. This is where non-specific loci do have similar homology to the target sites and on occasion get cut, which causes mutations. This can be time consuming by having to scan the entire genome for these mutation sites. Another problem that occurs are multiple alleles which are caused from repairing the cleave site by non-homologous end joinings and can produce test subjects with different mutations within the same test pool. This also requires genome sequencing to verify the nature and the position of that specific mutation. Lastly, genome editing can cause environmental concerns. 
It is a fear that a resistance incorporated into some of the plants or animals could spread greatly, thus disrupting the balance of the ecosystem. Despite all that, genome editing is a very advanced and new technology that may forever change the world. This can benefit many fields of life sciences. It can allow us to study genes and their functions more thoroughly and effectively. This can improve our gene therapy techniques, which can be used to develop better treatments for genetic disorders. We would be able to replace defective genes with normal alleles in its natural location. This can be exploited to help develop cures for diseases that we now deem incurable. If you're interested in learning more about gene editing, I would highly recommend checking out the Human Genome Project webpage. The Human Genome Project is an international research effort to successfully map out all the genes in the human body. It has a wealth of information including studies that have been done, part of the human genome that have been able to map out and also provide your research papers, news articles, and YouTube videos on current genetic and diseases and how they affect your body. And if you really want to step up and take part in this awesome advancement in science, they have information about trainings and career pathways that you can get involved with. With all the advancements in technology today, we're able to explore more and more about how the world functions around us. I believe that genome editing is a step forward in science and that we will be able to do remarkable things with this technology. Once again, I'm Nathan Lauer and thank you for your time.